Yeah, I like how you always land the reviews on some sort of joke, you know. Uh, I lost so many lives to those bullet bills you know, when I first started playing Super Mario. But, uh, you know, I got, I got better. Anyways, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System was my first video game console as well. Uh, Super Mario Brothers was also my first game, so I guess we have that in common. Um, but uh, the only things I really had a problem with in Super Mario World was the fact that you can't really backtrack to go get other coins or jump on other enemies that you missed, you know, to gain more points or anything. Um, you know, if a mushroom runs off and goes back, ways you, you just can't get it you know once it reaches a certain point and that was kind of I don't know that, that, that to me that was kind of a bummer I was like well why can't you go back um now let's see the other thing was the recycled stages uh, there weren't very many of those but there were there were a few and they were just sort of I don't know it just seemed like the game was being rushed I mean the, the recycled stages did have extra traps or enemies but you could tell that it was the same stage and it was just sort of I don't know it, it, it just seemed like uh, it just kind of added a little more unneeded repetitiveness to it and it was I don't know it just kind of felt like they were trying to rush things um let's see another thing was Luigi and Mario they look pretty much identical, they, you know, I'd be playing a game, they'd say, that's Red Mario, that's Green Mario, and I'm, I'm like, no way, that's, that, that's Luigi, I mean, I read the comics, and I watch the TV show, and Luigi looks a little bit different, you know, of course he looks similar, because he's Mario's brother, but, um, I, I don't know, I mean, they should have just made it so that Luigi looks a little different than Mario in those games. Uh, they did fix that though, uh, like in Super Mario World for example, they had, you, you know, a green colored Mario and a red colored Mario, and of course the green one was Luigi, um, but uh, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was in Mario All-Stars or in Game Boy Advance that they changed Luigi to actually look like himself and gave him a flutter jump kind of like he did in Mario Brothers 2, you know, which was cool, because different abilities, you know, kind of give the game more variety, you know, when you add more characters with other uh, with their uh, unique twists to the gameplay. Um, but yeah, I mean, Su Super Mario Brothers was a good game, basically. It's very good. Uh, it's a legend. Uh, Super Mario World is also a very good game, but it, there's sort of a nothingness that kind of looms over the entire gameplay for me. I don't know what it is. Um, it might be the graphics. It might be the, the gameplay. I mean, I like both the graphics and the gameplay. Um, it just seems like there's something kind of missing. It might be the stage design because the stage design wasn't as good as it was in Super Mario Brothers 3. You know, it wasn't as sophisticated. Getting your cape to fly you around an entire level, just fly over the whole thing, just sort of made the experience sort of dull in some areas. Um, I mean, you could choose not to fly with the cape, I guess. But, I mean, seriously, if you've got a cape on your back, I mean, what are you going to want to do with it? you know, sit there and just, you know, hit enemies and do nothing else, you know. Um, you know, the, I think the raccoon suit did a better job with the flying because it, you, you could whack enemies with it, you know, not as quickly as the cape could, but you could whack them off one by one and you could, uh, you know, you, you could, uh, you, you could still fly, but your, in, your power wasn't infinite, like you couldn't fly forever. You know, so that added a good challenge to the game and kept flying fun. Um, what else, let's see, what else was there? Oh yeah, there was uh, Super Mario 64. Now this was a really good step into the 3D world for Mario. Um, I agree that the only thing that was annoying was the camera. I mean, out of all the, out of all the 3D games I've played, that's got to be the second worst camera I've ever seen. The first one that I've ever seen would be uh, Sonic Adventure. Of course, that game doesn't have a lot of backtracking to do, and wide open exploration and stuff, so, I mean, the camera was acceptable on that game as well. And, um, anyways, on the topic of Super Mario 64, um, I, I kind of wish that there were stages, like, more stages where Mario just had to get from point A to point B, so it would feel more like it did back in the older days, you know, not not having to run around doing different things and deciding what to do. 
I mean, that's fun and all, but I think they should have probably added some more stages, like uh, like, like the Bowser stages, for example. You know, they should have had more of those, only not as hard. You know, just kind of uh, to give it more of that old school feel of getting from point A to point B. Um, let's see. Another thing is. Oh yeah, Mario Kart 64. I remember that. Uh, I remember I'd go to summer camp and I'd play that and, you know, we'd all be waiting outside the room, you know, for someone to come and open it so we could get dibs on the, uh, to play Super Mario, or Mario Kart, actually, 64. And, uh, I don't know, it, that was gotta be like the most addictive racing game I've ever played. And, you know, when I came home from camp, I bought it, of course, because it was so cool. Um, you know, you just toss weapons at people, you know, you watch them fly up in the air, you know, and you zoom past things and, you know, different, you know, different types of environments, you know, uh, you know, the, the graphics were nice, you know, they weren't realistic, but they were pleasingly good because they were kind of, uh, cartoony looking like most Mario games are. So, um, let's see, multiplayer was a blast on that. What else are... Uh, yeah, I think that's about it there. So, anyways, I'm looking forward to your next review. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Uh, I thought I heard something about Super Paper Mario or something. Uh, anyways, uh, when you do other virtual console reviews, I'm probably going to be looking forward to Star Fox 64 or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.